Welcome to a Velf Creations Tips and Tricks video. Today, we will be going over how to make stamps in XES. Let's get started. We started by importing this SVG, but you can use any shape or text from within XES for this method. We don't want to just simply engrave the text for our stamp, instead we want to engrave everything around the words. To do this, let's select the Outline option and increase the size a bit, then hit OK. Next, we select that outline, copy and paste. We will use this to cut out the rubber stamping material. To help us better organize our layer, we will move this cut outline to the green layer and also rename our layers. Once that is done, we select the original outline and our design. Click on Combine and subtract at Overlap. At first glance, it does not appear like anything changed, but if we click on Engrave, you can see that it created a negative of our design. Now we need to align our cut and engrave designs. Select both. Click Align, Horizontal Align Center, then Vertical Align Center. Now, if you are doing a shape or simple design, then you are done. But if you are doing words, you need to mirror the design or your stamp will be backwards. Again, select both layers, then click Reflect and Reflect Horizontally. Great! The rubber stamping material that we use is linked in the description, and here are the settings for that material. For cutting, we use the blue light laser, power set to 100%, speed to 2. For engraving, we use the blue light laser, power set to 100%, speed to 50, two passes and lines per centimeter, set to 240. Awesome, let's head over to the F1 and get this stamp made. Doing two passes with the engrave instead of one slow pass helps to keep the smaller details by preventing rubber from melting. We like to 3D print these small handles, but you could also cut out a few pieces of plywood to create something similar with the F1. Using some super glue to attach the rubber to the handle makes assembly really quick. We love how this turned out, but let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe.